Where all my skill and luck so far goes down the toilet. Hell yeah, dude. Good luck on your first boss with the unborn beast, the fetus. <laughs> oh god, from uh, PT. Dude. Just large scale. What do you think the next Silent Hill is going to be? You think it's going to be a PT? You think they're going to try really hard to be PT and just not have the right direction from old Hitty? Here's the thing. Since that game came out, or that demo, I guess, I mean... It's good enough. It, it's almost a game. <laughs> um, it would be... It's the back, like, right buttons up. Nope. 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 Oh, my God. This is, like, the worst time for you to fuck the audio up. Honestly. What were we talking about? I have no fucking clue what I was... Oh, 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 PC. Right. It would need to be similar to that. For it to be any good at this point, you think so? Do you think they? Could it was just such do a, a like achievement and what horror. They, what if they like fully, not like G GTA trilogy remade, but like fully ground up remade, like the second one or even the first three? Oh, for sure. I mean, remakes are fine. Yeah, that's different. But you wouldn't want one that's like Resident Evil or uh, Silent Hill Five, and it's just the same kind of angle camera. You you'd want it first person. Uh, I wouldn't, like, it's not like I would hate, oh, Jesus, it's not like I would hate, like, one that's third person, third person, like the remake or anything. Although oh, the fuck. first Silent Hills, they had the fixed cameras, right? I don't know if the third uh, one did. did. The, did I they? think the second fuck, one did. Fuck, dude. Why's this guy being a that's what dick added right to, now? God damn, son. It's because you don't have audio. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> fuck you. Hit him with some mollies. Fuck this guy. Damn, dude. Catch that hair on fire. That dry hair. That dry, coarse hair. Is that the damage Get you're doing fucked. To yeah. Damn, that's stacked up all the way to full. Full 100. All right. I was going to say, if I die Before to this fucker. Slaughtered. Uh, Yarn and Beast down. <laughs> Yarn and Beast. Yarn and it's Beast. Not, not, not what he's called. He's called good, old, the, uh, good old Cleric Beast. Yeah. Out of the way. Now with twelve thousand blood echoes, I can go start upgrading. Nice. What are you gonna what are you gonna upgrade your health? So, uh, I'm doing a saw cleaver build, which means I need which I, I justified this while we took a quick break. I went on Reddit and just did some looking up. Um, strength is gonna be important for damage. I'm gonna want to do health. I'm gonna get endurance up to 20. It's a really good endurance weapon, like if you see when I'm swinging. It doesn't use a ton of endurance for swings. Right. So I don't need to get endurance too high. Nice. And I'm gonna put some points in skill to get a little extra damage near the end game. But for right now, it's probably gonna be strength and, and vit. Nice. Get that an upgrade. Tally TV strat stat. <laughs> Dude. I don't know anything about You don't know anything I, about that no. false Russian dude? I, I don't know. Vladimir Putin's false son? I... I I don't get like references from anything. I don't know who was who and you don't what know, happened. Um, Roman Atwood did. I know the name, but I don't know. I don't know uh, anything. What was his brand? Fucking always smile or some stupid <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> yeah, I think it was. And then his mom fucking like tragically died. It wasn't even like she like fucking died of old age. I think she fell and hit her head. And then that, yeah, that fucking branding always smile and <laughs> quickly turn. Dude. I don't think it, I, I legitimately don't think that's his brand anymore. And I'm like, how could it, dude? Yeah, that, that's a like unhealthy thing, right? Yeah. It, to be fair, it was in that like, I think it was his way of kind of getting out of that prank kind of territory. Oh, he was in. he's one of those pranksters. I mean, yeah, he was a pretty shitty one. I think he was a pretty shitty human being back then. But I don't know. I don't think he's that bad of a guy now. Should I uh, talk about spoilers for this game? Does yeah, it matter I don't at this shit. point? I it's think crazy to me. Watching this six years later, knows right. or do your do what you will with this as far as editing. But major spoiler warning gotcha. here. Uh, but it's crazy to me that we're talking to the final boss, like, right here. Oh, yeah, I knew this fucking old yeah. piece of shit was the final boss. It's just crazy to me. It that... is cool. He, he, doesn't he turn into, like, a fucking Transformer or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how I remember or it. no, I thought it was, a, like, a Death Angel or something, right? 
That's it's the him boss. for the for the final boss. There's a post boss to him that is this crazy like Eldritch Chara thing. That thing in the field. Same field. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's what you're but thinking. You fight of. him in the field. He's too? the true the the thing you're thinking of is the true final boss. Um, Gunther here, whatever the fuck his name is, is um, Gunther is uh, the pseudo final boss. If you don't, you have to do very specific things to get. I'm gonna try. Uh, probably by like episode 25, I'll have to go back and like rewatch a walkthrough just to kind of make sure. Because there's a couple right. of items we have to make sure we get. But how I do want to get to the true ending. That'd be fun. How far west do you think the last person who named gone through was? Because it's got to be pretty out there, right? How far west? Yeah. Well. You don't think someone in like Europe would be named Gunther? No. What about C- C- Canada? Maybe, that sounds like maybe. Maybe. Like a dude that makes maple syrup named Gunther. Gunther. Yeah, but it sounds so just like big. Gunther. I just wish they would uh, fucking... Number one, something in Dark Souls 3, you can travel from anywhere. That was helpful. The fact that you have to come back here is so stupid. Fast travel? Yeah. And oh, wait, you have to come back here to fast travel? <laughs> yeah, Whoa. it's so dumb. That's really dumb. Also, they put pictures up. This sounds so elementary and like stupid, but they put pictures of where you're going. It helps me. I wish there were Dude, pictures so I, I know pictures. where the fuck I'm going. I need pictures. That, although I will say, the one-time pictures didn't help, was in... Do you remember those stupid-ass missions in Super Mario Odyssey? Where you had to, like, match up the yes. very just just blank picture of They were, nothing. like, very generic. Yeah. Like, not even well-done depictions right. of where you're supposed to go. Like, who did those? Because I want to find them. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't finish that statement. <laughs> I just want to find them. I, I want to know they're all right. <laughs> I gotta make sure, you know. And Trump's America, dude. Trump. <laughs> It, 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 it's not now, but it will be soon. I mean, it, it, it still is, whether, We're whether you want to be or not. going to be Trump's America for the next 40 years, I hope you guys realize. <laughs> not from just him, but, uh, you know, that whole family. Whole sentiment. It's kind of like a big mob family at this point, and we're like the LAPD, <laughs> or NYPD, more like. Is, uh, is the mob, like, strictly in New York? No, it's everywhere. I mean... Everywhere kind of has a mob, to be honest. There's a southern mob. There's a fucking... The, <laughs> what are they called? The fucking, KKK? <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, you could technically call those the mob because they do get in the hands of businesses. It's really just moving cash around. That's what a mob is. Breaking bad money laundering? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the fucking cartel is a goddamn mob. Better call Paul. <laughs> Better call Paul the monkey from the end of Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> yeah, man. I was going to, for some reason, here's the, here's where I was going. I was going to be like, Better call Pauly Shore. I don't know who Pauly oh, Shore Pauly is. Pauly Shore's a uh, comedian, I think. Oh, okay. He's I like just a, know the name because I was like. It's like a skinny comedian. Looks like, like who's the Paul? Crack. Paul Walker. Paul yeah. Walker. You got to think about Flip all the Pauls, truck. you know. Rest <laughs> in peace, dude. Flipped his truck doing 90 on the Autobahn, dude. He was like, I'm, I'm going to be the real Fast and Furious boy. And then, yeah, he, that was Shit. honestly, that was pretty, I remember memeing about it, going on iFunny right after Paul Walker died and seeing <laughs> memes about it, but that was pretty fucked up. Yeah, well, it was one of those things that, like, when it happened, people didn't believe it at first, because right. it was such, it was and like, it was this so has convenient. to, this has to be a joke, right. like, seriously? Yeah, he flipped his car 7,000 times. But then it's just really fucking yeah. tragic. And it's like, dude, speaking of that one Reddit. I saw just crumpled guys in a car, and I was like, that's got to be the worst way to go out. Oh, my God. Just crumpled up next to your Why are you looking wheel. at this again? I don't, I don't think know, we ever dude. covered that. I, I, I think I just stumble across this shit, and it's kind of, it's, it's like a car crash. You want to see him. You want to see the crumple. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you don't want to see it, but then you do, you know? You ever get stuck in traffic, at, like, for so long that you're like, there better be oh, someone yeah, there, dead at the end of this? Somebody should be at least pretty injured to where they're not gonna be able to go into work monday right <laughs> like fuck make it worth my time a little bit that's it's pretty morbid to think but i do that. <laughs> i will be the first to admit i've thought that oh yeah without a doubt all right everybody this is where the run can absolutely fall apart i think yeah <laughs> this is uh father Voster, gas coins fucking corn on the cob here <laughs> father pay your coins Gas, gas, Coigny. I've heard so many fucking jokes Cogney. about how you're supposed to say this dude's name. I, I assume it's French, so it'd be like probably it'd probably be like Gascoigne or something. Gascoigne, or like uh, what's that? Pepe Le Pew, that yeah. guy, the skunk. Yeah, isn't he French? Yeah, yeah. Gascoigne. that's the whole joke Pepe that Pew. French people like fucking people. Oh yeah, because they made up French kissing. Wasn't he like a? Not okay. No. No, Did I'm pretty sure canceled? he's. I'm pretty sure he's gone. Maybe we shouldn't talk about him. 
Yeah, maybe we'll get canceled over Pepe Le Pew. Dude, I hope. Let's bring up Louis C.K. too while we're at it. They're pretty much the same people. I mean, he didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you mean he shouldn't have lost billions of dollars? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, just whole live with a take room. <laughs> Wasn't uh He's just to harken back to a, to a previous episode? Didn't I think Chappelle talked about him? Yeah, he did. He was like my my inward Louis, and I'm like, oh my god, that's hilarious. Even that statement, right? And he, I don't remember what he said about him, but yeah, it was pretty much like, man, dude shouldn't have lost everything. Uh, you, I, I was listening, but then like halfway through that, I realized I forgot to put the music box on, so it's gonna be interesting. Oh, yeah. Do you have to do it beforehand? Yeah. I could try to equip it now, but it's going to be dicey. What's that smell? Did I diarrhea myself? <laughs> Dude, that's a thing that would probably happen in these fights. It's like, you get sliced in your like abdomen hard enough, you're going to shit yourself probably. Right. <laughs> do you think, like, how many? what percentage of games do you play where you think you'd shit yourself in the place of the Probably protagonist? a lot, dude. I just played Far Cry a lot. Fuck. And, dude, you know, like, every two bullets that enter you, it'd be enough to push some shit out, probably. And, like, you're getting shot up in that game. Fuck. But, yeah, dude, especially this guy. He's coming at you every which way. It's like fighting fucking Muhammad Ali right now. Right. I've gotten a lot of crits off on him, though, which is good. That's true. The problem is when he transforms, which might be now... Nope, not yet, not yet, not yet. Wow. When he transforms... Oh, he did. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. More than the last third. Right. Oh, my God. Dude, his, like, overcoat still being on it is fucking dope. Someone did a, um interesting breakdown of why uh, FromSoft does, uses so much cloth. Right. It's so that you can track their movements better. Oh, shit, really? Because you're supposed to be able to read an enemy's moves. I fucking destroyed nice, that guy! Dude. You made that look... <gasps> you legitimately made that look so easy that I forgot that that guy is actually really tough. Okay, I, I was trying to keep up the commentary through that, but I was shaking during that battle. Dude, I completely blanked out and I forgot how hard that guy actually is. Because oh you God. were just, like, destroying him. Oh, I got, like, four viscerals off. Oh, God, my God. damn, son. That's the best Father Gas coin I've ever had, and I'm so glad we were recording. Like, the legit... I'm not even trying to toot my own horn. That was the best I've done of that boss. Dude, that shit was insane. Whew. Good shit. Preach, yeah, preach. Was, uh, I don't remember what the fuck I was saying, but yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, the cloth thing. Yeah, that's fucking... You never even think about that, dude. It's such... To it's so cool. Out. Oh, it's because I was watching an Elden Ring thing, and someone made a joke about, oh, here's some more cloth on, like, the boss. But it makes sense because it just helps you track, like, right. Which read their movements. Yeah, kind of where they're moving next. Right. It's... Oh, God, the it's guys like are that, just uh, masters at what they it's, do. It's... Yeah. It's that... It's the small, small, tiny shit. It's like Mad Max that uh, where you want to track your shot so the right just is naturally right the eye tracking right. i remember when i first heard that i was like oh my god oh, well, dude dude the amount of movies that I actually implement that that i never knew that well, once you know it's a thing you can start picking up i movies. guess that is probably like go to film school and learn oh, that yeah. pretty early but i think yeah. the way mad max did it was it, yeah, a little more like, like masterful well it's because it's a lot of the times it's not used in action i think like that was one of the first times it was used in one of those bombastic scenes like that you know we're gonna come back here, and there will be a baby here. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Oh, like okay. a so um, like a PlayStation Three commercial baby or a big baby. What's the PlayStation Three commercial baby? I was gonna oh, get back to what you were just that? saying, but I'll throw it up on screen <laughs> now, while we're talking. Now you about have it. me interested. But uh, it was like Sony's first, one of their first uh, co uh, commercials for the PS3, the big fat one. When they were fucking up hard, right? That's back when they were charging like seven hundred dollars yeah, a system. Yeah, yeah, it was it was legit around the l release when they legitimately were like five hundred to seven hundred dollars. I don't even remember how much. But the thing is, you know what's weird is like that's how much a, a PS Five costs now, right? Yeah, but back then, and I guess you're getting more. I guess you're getting more power with this thing, so it makes more sense. Well, at the time, dude, that had a full Linux system on it. It was like a military grade computer at the time. They stripped a lot of that out of the like newer PS3s that were cut cost, but that original PS3, that fat one, I guarantee is probably more powerful than that. You mean for for its for, time? For its time, but maybe even more technically because it still has a full operating system on it. I wonder how they came to the decision to try that price point again then. Uh, well, technically back then. With inflation, that would be like a thousand dollars nowadays. Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. so makes, they so they're a little more reasonable. Yeah. I mean, like, we're paying 300 for a Switch. 200 more to have the, like, very nice quality 
It's like paying a little bit extra for uh Hmm. What's a good <laughs> I don't want to do the Chick fil A McDonald's because that's not even that much of a price. That's not much of a difference. Right. I mean you you do pay a pretty penny for some uh Chick fil A. You though. do. Especially if you want to get full there. If you're just looking for a quick snack, like a little lunch bowl, you can get out of there pretty cheap. But if you're going to like full on, I don't think I could ever get full off Chick fil A. No matter how much food you put in front of me, I you're could be insane. that avocado guy. And you're destroy. insane. Let me, let me read you out this order, my guy. All right. I bet you I could destroy it. I got a. While I eat this clipboard. I got a. Actually, sub this first item out with one of two things. First item can either be. A big old deluxe chicken, spicy chicken. All right. Or the wrap, which I know you haven't had the wrap, which is why I'm subbing out the sandwich, because you can you can relate to the sandwich. Yeah. The wrap's big, too, though. All That's right. why I said that. With a large fry and a Coke. All right. A four-piece chicken strip, another large fry, and a milkshake. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> you did eat you destroy that? it? Mm, I did not finish the milkshake, and I think I had fries left over. The milkshake did it over for me, and I think the fries would do it over, because... Chick fil A fries are kind of fucking trash. They're not like worth writing home about for sure. Not at all. The milkshake, anytime I get a milkshake, you better cut my meal in half because, dude, that, <laughs> that's taking up most of my stomach. I swear that's to God. true, yeah. And, dude, like any place that sells something larger than a small is right. just out of their fucking mind. Right. You ever get a large at Sonic? You're like, oh my god, I didn't know they could put. This Dude, you only milkshake. you only make that mistake a few times before right. you realize. Number one, I'm lactose intolerant, and number, number two, two, I don't have a spare twenty to spend <laughs> on a milkshake. Yes, one. and number three, I'm not a cow and I don't have multiple <laughs> stomachs. Okay, a little callback spoiler again here, but uh, the fact that when you go to grab this item, you see this weird light anomaly, but because of the point in the game that you're in, you don't realize that it's actually one of those things reaching its hand down to grab you Whoa. is insane. I don't know if you've ever even seen it. When we get back to this area later, it's going to look gnarly. No, I don't think I have. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Hmm. Uh, so you have options here um, as far as a player in Bloodborne. I'm going to go the old Yarnum route. We're going to do that as level two. Fuck yeah, dude. So we're going to get some Blood Starved Beast. I'm pretty familiar <laughs> with uh, old Yarnum. Yeah, that, well, that's the area I spent most of my time in when I played it. Yeah, old Yarnum's uh, where where boys become men. <laughs> yeah, I think if... Uh, you know how sometimes people are like, man, if you could trans- go to any... Uh, place in, in in any video game ever, where would you go? I'd, I'd fucking go to Old Yarnum, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you're, probably. That's where you're going to put your vacation on? Yeah, probably. I can hang out with the crows. I mean, nice spot. Or that guy up top on the tower. Just yeah, fuck off. that guy, dude. Um, he is fucking annoying. I have yet to decide if I'm going to... Uh, should I should I fight that guy? There's Does a he way. Give you anything for well, there's it? a way to be friendly with him. Eventually, you just have to dodge his shit and just ignore him. But you can also go kill oh, him for shit, some free really? stuff. I'm trying to decide which route I want to take. Killing him's a pain in the ass, though, and he'll probably kill me. And I'm kind of looking good right now, so I'm wondering if I want to throw myself at that. I didn't know you could befriend him. Yeah, there's it's a long longer path of um, Does side he mission shoot at shit. You, though? Yeah. Yeah. What a fucking asshole! I'm not being friends with you. You shoot at me. Uh, there is a cheese for him where you can, like, knock him off. Yeah, I think um, that's the only way I've ever killed him. I don't think I've ever legitimately taken him out. Yeah, I think I'd maybe have killed him once, legitimately. Damn. The problem is I think I went back later to do it when I was higher level. Can't if you, I did like, it right now, I think I'd get fucked. You could fuck up the drop, too, right? Because he could drop somewhere where you can't reach him. I right? think... They may I, have I don't pat- even know if it's worth They it, may though. have patched that, but... Uh, uh, that, yeah, that used to be a thing. I, it might still be a thing, honestly. The thing is, like... I'm not trying to 100% this. I hope people don't think I am. I'm just... I'm getting everything just because I know where it is. I'm not going to do that the whole game because I don't remember every item in the game. Oh, my God. That scared the fuck out of me. Um, So don't worry. That's not the point here. Um, So I don't need whatever the fuck he drops, I don't think. The problem is I do want the secret boss at the end, though, and I'm hoping it's not tied to that. Is that the old man? Uh, No, the thing after him. Oh, okay. The uh, weird, like... The almighty overbeing... Yeah, the the weird alien creature thing. The one that made our universe. Right. The whole eldritch horror. Dude, the stories Imagine behind that those are crazy. Like, yeah. Everybody's like, gosh, Jesus. No, it's eldritch horror. <laughs> fucking Lovecraft got it right. <laughs> Turns out, to a, to a fucking T, dude. That'd be crazy. I'd love just one of them to be right. One of the religions. Well, okay, if you had your pick of not even just religion, I'm not going to keep it to that. I'm saying any oh, take anything? on reality. What would you want to be the right one? 
Because you could do Marvel's universe. Right. You could do like a Norse mythology, which I got to say I'm partial to. I don't know, man. That's cold. You'd be real cold. You mean literally cold? Yeah. I thought you meant because the gods themselves are pretty cold in that like religion oh, <laughs> to no, each no. other. <laughs> but you they, legit they are cold. cold as in they will fuck, fuck shit up. But no, it'd literally be like uh, I'm cold. It's just because just, I, need you, a jacket. I don't think the after I don't think Valhalla is cold. Oh, isn't that just flames and shit? No, that's like their heaven. It's like a banquet hall. Oh, Val- Valhalla is heaven, right? What's uh, 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 Valheim? No, not Valheim. That's a, <laughs> yeah, dude. That that's video a game. game. Um, Valhalla, great video no. game. Uh, no, it's Hel- <laughs> Helheim. It's hell. It's literally hell. Helheim. What's their Ragnarok? That's what I was. Oh, that's to their. Uh, that's their. That's their um, send off, right? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is it called? Rapture. That's their like rapture. I can't think of the word. Right when that boy dies. And the fucking the, boy. the wolf dies. That's the whole. By the way, that's the whole story. Of the God of War. Right. Of course it is, because yeah. it's Norse mythology. They just have to go through the paces. Like. Right. I'm not surprised by that at all. Like I remember getting spoiled on what happened to Balder. I was like, "Oh wait, it's just been common knowledge." Right. That's where like Balder's Gate. Like, right. there's a reason like all this shit's around. Like, yeah. that mythology is like how old? And everybody wants to be like, "That's the best video game." And I'm like, man, that's the story that's been told <laughs> for ten thousand years. I love, I love how much of a vendetta you have against <laughs> God of War. It, it gives me fucking energy. I can't Cause, like, too because I played the originals. No, I'm not gonna be that guy. Oh man, but you did. I you did. legit do have context though. Yeah, like I, did. I didn't, and I'd say let's throw a hefty ninety on the number of people that you know have not played the original set oh, played yeah, the seriously. new one yeah just because of the player base alone um, like on the PS4 I mean that's the highest besides PS2 I think actually most of the God of War games were on PS2 so maybe not but most uh, I thought is it not all of them the first two and then third one was on PS3 and then the oh, okay. prequel was on PS3 as well and then there was PSP ones that there was still, PSP ones yeah which actually I think are uh, what do you call it when it's part of the lore? Canon. Uh, canon, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there's a canon. I played one of them. I, Damn. I, 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 don't I did I not know there one. were mobile ones. That's crazy. They're not bad either. They're like good little. Well, the PSP wasn't bad. No, like it was it, a good it handheld. Um, but yeah, it's, with all that said, I, the new one's not bad. <laughs> but like, God, I love shit talking it because everybody sucks his dick. Yeah, it's true. It it, it does get held up on. It. And like, here's the thing: I can't speak on it too much because I didn't finish it. Right. I mean, it's a hard one to finish. You really gotta... Like, I was in the Far Cry subreddit the other day just pleading that other people felt the same way I did. About <laughs> the game. Um, uh, and somebody was like, yeah, I really had to just race the final few missions. I just wanted to race through to see what happens and just be done with it. I was like, yeah, I felt that about God of War. 100%. Maybe a little bit better about it, but not by much. Here's the thing. If I don't finish right, a game, <laughs> here's the thing. <clears throat> if I don't finish a game, I think it says a lot about yeah. the game itself. For instance, being able to hold your attention. This is my number one game. I've played this four or five times, and it's a long game. Right. And that's through. I've probably that's started like 25, 30 times. That's easy. a really good point because my favorite game is Mario sixty four, but I can beat that in a day easy. Right. You, you literally could not beat this game in a day. Well, if you start speedrunning it, but like any other way, dude, I, don't know. I considered this one. <laughs> that dude, any game you speedrun, even if it's just one of those fucking weird off ones, anybody who speedruns is just like, God, that's some dedication, bro. Yeah, I just my fear with speedrunning, which I think we talk about speedrunning a lot, but it, it's such a it's such a thing where I look at it and I'm like, man, I am like one degree off from being that guy. Yeah, right. And like, <laughs> you're, you're not, not that guy. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not that guy, Absolutely. buddy. <laughs> Uh, nope, you're not that guy, dude. Nope. Just such just dad energy. Dude. Yeah, I know, right? That's just him. If he was like from New Jersey, anyway. Um, <laughs> but my worry would be that it would ruin the game, and I, I that's my biggest. I just never want to ruin something right. I, I that's treasure why, this much. That's why I, I would never consider seriously running 64 because <laughs> that's dude, also one of the most like renowned sped run games ever, dude. It would be so hard to even 
think about getting in the top 100 because yeah it's such down to a science now you, you literally got to just remember inputs and it's just that's not fun right that's not a fun way to play the game i'm not interested in doing that and i obviously there's other routes i could run that are way more fun but even those get to a point where they're just fine-tuned to a point where if you want to do any good you got to do what other people have done right there's yeah the, i'm not down with that fuck that the best the best method is set in stone and the thing is i'm pretty sure that's true for all from software yeah. games too so i mean most speed run games that's why i don't do it i i would love to because i think i do have the dedication in me to do it it's just the having to do it pixel perfect to this random guy who made it up rules like it's not even like there could be a better route to mario 64 and we'll just never find it <laughs> right because someone got like well i don't know there there that are people that's pretty fine tuned to be there are people that like dedicate their time to just trying new that's strats true. right yeah like for even just seeing what walls are clippable and what walls aren't like that shit's just goddamn boring man it's like it's not your job it's is it not I mean, maybe some people do it. I guess I guess some streamers do it, which technically, I guess that is their job. They, they spend Mod- their time. There is a some money to be made with modding, I think, um, and shit like that, and speedrunning. Yeah, modding modding's a little different, I think, from, from my perspective. My brain went to modding because I was like, you can technically... I think people have um, taken the game outside of the like emulator and put it into some modding software that shows them clippable walls. Oh, I see. And that's why my mind went the mods. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That, yeah, that seems pretty off topic. I was like, wait. But yeah, um, dude, people have dissected that fucking game. It's like I can't when, even uh, imagine. Well, I just watched a video on someone realizing oh, fuck, that the... Um, Ooh, that shit's nasty, isn't it? The poison. Yeah. Poison's not... Oh, is that poison? That's poison. What, what's the other one that so really gets you? So, in Dark Souls, there is... Is it petrification or something like that? Um, Maybe it's that one I'm thinking of. Uh, in this one, it's... I don't know if you ever saw the enemies that are just a bunch of eyeballs on a head. Mm. If you stare at those for too long, it's the same concept. You just instantly you just, die. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, what the fuck is it in Dark Souls? I can't remember. Anyway, each one of the FromSofts games has that and gotcha. the, luckily in this game it takes a long time to get to the enemies that like you have to worry about that shit with because right. in dark souls one i'm pretty sure they show up pretty early uh resi 4 in vr which i still really want to play dude did you know that's quest um exclusive no way Are yeah you that's serious? why i haven't played it i tried to get it the other day no fucking it's way. quest 2 exclusive a hundred percent I'm oh, not that pull- really pisses not me off. Not pulling your leg. Are you fucking... Oh, my God, <laughs> Yeah, dude. so, I mean, here's well, the thing. We have the means to do it, but it still just blows. That sucks, man. Wow. Well, fuck it. I don't even want to talk about <laughs> it. I'm just going to say, they did a really good job about it with that one from what I've seen, but I won't get to experience it, <laughs> no, right. apparently. Yeah, uh, I've heard it. I've heard raving reviews. I do want to play it. I, I always wanted to play that game. I just... Right. And what a cool experience to, like... I was thinking about this the other day when I thought I could play it. (laughs) Fucking, uh... What a cool experience to play that for the first time in VR. Like, not a lot of people get to experience that. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 I see what you mean. Like, your first interaction with, like, something that somebody loves to death is a much better version. Like, some people's favorite game to experience in in first person. Like, VR shit. Yeah. That's dope. And well done, too. That's the other, like, key point. I've I've seen some GIFs on that game, dude. They did a really good job with it, from what I've seen. I also forgot this guy had a Gatling gun. I thought he just sniped you. No, no, no. He's got a full-on Gatling up there. Look at that that thing. What's up? (laughs) What's up up there? I think he'll turn and shoot it. It's pretty cool watching it shoot. You see the bullets raining oh down. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, the Kapool videos, dude, over in Afghanistan. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Poisoning, nice. but... But you got that heel off somehow. It's because it's, um... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't explain it, don't explain no. it, it's fine. No! <laughs> no! God damn it! I almost had him! Now I'm mad. Now I'm fucking mad. 